When you true a bicycle wheel with a through axle hub, you have to put something through the hub to stand in place of the axle that isn't there so that the thing will actually sit in the truing stand. This is a 15 millimeter through axle hub. It's just not going in there. The Russell Makes Truer Skewer is the solution. It fits any 12 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 20 millimeter through axle hub. The collars quickly slide on and off and are held securely in place by O-rings. The Truer Skewer stays put in any orientation and allows the wheel to be supported in the stand. I machine these right here in my garage on my mill and on my lathe and I take them to my day job and I anodize them and then I sell them to you directly through my website russellmakes.com which as I'm recording this is currently sold out because you guys are after these things so let's get back to work All right, while the mill's working away here, we can take these finished pieces, almost finished pieces, and cut the O-ring groove, and we're gonna do that on the lathe. I released these for sale a couple weeks ago at this point. Somebody on Instagram commented and said, hey, what about, what about having some O-rings on the 12 millimeter rod so that it is captured inside the hub? Because obviously if you're truing a 12 millimeter through axle hub and you have this rod in there, there's no O-rings involved. And one of the slickest parts is, is the O-rings, right? Keeping everything assembled and everything together in the hub. I think that's a good idea. I've got a batch of these and I'm gonna cut some O-ring grooves on these. So this would be batch number two of the truer skewer. And they're now gonna feature O-rings on the 12 millimeter rods as well. Real quick, I wanted to show you this. This is the O-ring groove cutter that I'm using on the lathe to cut the grooves on the collars. So this is for reaching inside of the collars and cutting that o-ring groove but that's not going to work because it's coming from the the wrong direction so i gotta grind a new o-ring groove cutting tool for the lathe so let's do that first this is going to take forever I've got this little scrap piece here just from when I was dialing in the engraving. Let's uh, chuck this up and try and cut a groove here. We should probably look at this so that the cross section of this O-ring is 1.5 millimeters they say. If you try to measure it, well it squishes doesn't it? <laughs> so if the OD of this O-ring is 12 millimeters, which it is, because of the cross section being 1.5, the ID is nine millimeters. So we're gonna to wanna to cut this groove to just ever so slightly bigger than nine millimeters in diameter. All right, let's see what we got here. Stretch that on. Oh. Oh, that looks good. Now, something I want to play with here is how how much 
interference do we want this o-ring to have how much resistance the problem is i don't have a 12 millimeter through axle hub that i can test <laughs> so i'm kind of rolling the dice here but i'm looking at this and i'm thinking uh, i think there's not enough interference i think i want it to be a little bit more than that that's pretty that's almost flush Well, that looks a little better to me. All right, I think I'm happier with that second one. Actually, maybe it's maybe it's sticking out just a little bit too much. I might kind of shoot the gap between those two dimensions. But anyways, I, I know how deep I want to plunge this now, so I'm going to roll the dice. I'm just going to do this whole batch. <laughs> Hey, that looks, uh, that looks pretty good. I'm into that. All right, we got a bunch of parts machined here. Now I just take them to my day job, anodize them up to make them look all pretty, pop the O-rings in, bada boom, bada bing, Russell Makes Truer Skewer, headed straight to your door, russellmakes.com slash store. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit like. If you wanna see more videos from me, hit subscribe. If you want a truer skewer, Go to russellmakes.com slash truer skewer or russellmakes.com slash store. You'll see it there as well as some other stuff that I sell. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Tune in for the next one. Cheers.